That's how I yeah. feel about it, honestly. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Yeah. Show me light orbs. I love this. Show me what you can and, do. And the audience come with you. You know, I used to watch uh, Kevin. I had him on my show. Kevin audience. Moore has the Moore show. He's been doing it forever as well. And Kevin, oh, oh. watching him evolve through his up his the show and the conversation. this out guys orb vests coming in they come with, with the storms but you want to know what the difference between what a human eye can see looks like and what an infrared camera can see well my bottom left camera all these used to be infrared and that one broke so it won't switch to infrared <laughs> These are all around the same small home. So, four cameras all put on the roof of this little building. Yeah, and look at the what the one that is not an infrared camera is seeing. Oh, this is intense, you guys. Very intense. So check it out. Yeah, not rain. No, you, that's proof right there. You'd see. No, it's not even raining out right now. Yeah, no, it's not raining right now outside. What a trip! What a trip! It's been raining on and off all night, but it's not raining right now. He's a bit, he's a bit of a theme of what I found with him when I reached out to Australians. He's he's not as angry, but he's one of those angry activists. Like there's lots of Aussies who have exponential knowledge, but they're in that sort of resistance energy. Even though Tom's a lot more chilled, um, he's still got that sort of resistance. Let's fight the good fight sort of thing, which is not what I teach. I think that love is the only way to change this world. But there are plenty of people in that sort of good fight. You know, they've got to like fight the evil cabal or the control drama. I think they're both necessary because you're you're very loving, you're very feminine energy, very loving, very warm, and everybody wants to talk to you. You're wonderful. But Tom is very uh, passionate about it, and he understands he's got that yeah. protector uh, mentality going on. And you need strong arms like that in the fight with this as well, because he's the guy that's waking up all the wolves. You know. It's a level of consciousness. Once you understand there's no fight, once you understand that the higher your vibration, the more powerful you are to create change, 
then you pay more attention to your vibration than you do to what's happening outside you. I agree with you, but I will say this. Um, I know that <laughs> hand in hand, uh, mm -hmm. conspiracy theories and spirituality kind of go hand in hand. Uh, you're usually introduced into one because of your thought or your investigation into the other. So what I think Tom does is he provides a good framework for people who want to wake up, who are just at some level tired of seeing the world the way that it is, and he goes at it more of a, dude, you're being, you're being fucked because of this. You know, check this out. Here's what it is. But then he's also got his holistic element to it. He's got his calmness about him also that shows you that not only waking up to all the, that you being screwed the whole time, uh, you need that, but also here's how you're being screwed. And then also here's better ways. And then, hey, check out my friend Karen and uh, let her uh, raise your vibration in this way as well. He, again, wakes up the wolves. You know, he is part, is an unnecessary part of the process to bring people into conspiratorial elements of it to then have their spiritual awakening. Because like I said, I have found in my observation that they kind of go hand in hand. Yas. Yas queen. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> i tell you what, we're going to cap it here because I can talk this to you forever. Uh, but I've got... Uh, oh, I tell you what. I'm going to go... Our nephew's in town and um, we bought a, way too much fireworks today, so we're going to go shoot those off. Oh, wow. We yeah. didn't even get into flat earth theory. We were going to chat about that, but let's another time. It, let's do it another time, because we're going to do this again, like no sweat. Let's no do it on my show. Let's do it on your show. I'm I'd love honored. to get you on my show. We can talk about flat earth, because like, you said to me, what do you think? I really went into it, and you were going to talk about that. But anyway, that's another, That's a conversation for it's another time. Episode, it, let's definitely do it on your show, because I want that. But also, I'm going to bring you back on for sure. But it is an episode that was fascinating to me. Uh, I'm fascinated by the concept, and I think if you were to ask me if the Earth is round or flat, I'd say yes. I'd say it's both. I'd say it's what yeah. your perception yeah, requires it to be. And we can go exactly. into that further, because I would be honored. Yeah, that would be great. So, um... Thank you so much. You were an absolute delight. Like I said, your soul tribe. So thank you so much. I'm truly grateful that we connected. 